But the worst case scenario is somebody looks at it and is like, dumb, cheesy Christians. And all you're really doing is, and I hate the cheese, I hate the cheese, the campiness, the cheesiness, I hate it. All you're really doing is reducing Jesus down to a slogan. Morning, everybody. We've got some church signs coming up next. Okay. Good morning, good morning. Um, yeah, so new episodes of this, Contra Thoughts. I'm Richard. Uh, it's going to be on Wednesdays and Fridays, and I'm going to be posting lives on Thursdays. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I'm going to be rolling out some content, and hopefully... If you're familiar with Contra Talk, which is up here, uh, that's more my longer form sit down and have a bit of a serious discussion. Not that I hope that these aren't too funny or too serious or too goofy or whatever. It's on the other side too. Look at that. Um, those are longer form. I uh, recently spoke with Brian Croft, pastor, uh, 25 year veteran pastor. Uh, so if you're new, go check those out. I've got they've they're really edifying, really helpful. I think. Uh, you learn a lot. I've talked to Mark Coppinger. He's done a lot of stuff with, he was used to be the president of Midwestern way back in the day as a church planter, a pastor. He's got his PhD from Vanderbilt. Uh, he taught at Southern Seminary, writer, um, written a number of books, articles, things like that. He works with founders now. Um, talked to Tom Askell, who's also um, leader of founders or CEO, director. I don't know what his title is. Anyway. So those are really helpful, uh, really good content. You listen to somebody else talk, not me, for an hour, 45 minutes, whatever. I've got some more coming up. Um, Violet Chakuni, she's got a channel on YouTube. She's from uh, Malawi, African immigrant. She's been here about a decade or more. I'm posting her conversation that we had um, tomorrow, so look out for that on Saturday. So anyway, uh, I am a husband and a father. And if you find this content helpful, please like and subscribe if you have not. It does help the all-knowing algorithm, Albert Go Rhythm. Um, and what it does is basically just, you know, it generates more traction, right? And more people like it, more people see it, more people push it, and so on. And really, the, the goal is the gospel. The, real, the goal is to bring the feet of the, the, of the secular culture, of the big Eva church, of just general people to the fires of the gospel. And sometimes laugh, sometimes cry, sometimes rebuke, sometimes smile, sometimes shake my head, and sometimes all of it. Uh, because this world is passing away, but Jesus promises in uh, that he, <clears throat> this world is passing away, but Jesus does say that he has overcome it, right? In this world, you will have tribulation. You will have trouble, but fear not, I have overcome the world. And so that's being against the world. That's the contra mundum there. And then, but pro mundo, being for the world. So anyway, this will be a shorter video, I think, when I stop giving all the titles. No, cut that out too. All right, so... Church signs. Church signs. So, a little bit more about me. And drop a comment. Let me know where you're from. Uh, I'd like to know. Just maybe not like your home address or anything. But just your state. Where you're from. Uh, it generates good conversation. And maybe, you know, if you disagree, drop a comment as well. It generates good conversation. But I'm originally from California. Uh, I know, I know. I know I don't sound like I'm from the South. Because I'm not. <clears throat> I could sound like it. No. Moved to Kentucky in 2013 with my two small girls who are now almost 10 and 12. And we had two more children as well. So we've got three girls and a boy. Been married to my wife since 2007. And she's a native Californian as well. Moved here for seminary. And then I took a church pastorate uh, about two years ago, less than two years ago. And yeah, God's been good to us. But there's definitely a different culture, definitely a, a shift. These are signs, all actual signs. I didn't change anything. Uh, I did block out the name on one of them because it's very close to us. But these are all real church signs that I just took pictures of recently. It's January 2022. All right, first one. 
God gives you peace when you go to pieces. Now, this is probably the best one of the three. I'm only looking at three because I just, I don't. Now, that's true, right? Uh, and I asked my, my very, very literal, one of my daughters is like super, super literal, like rigid granite style literal. And so I asked her each of these signs, at least two of them, uh, these first two. <clears throat> and it doesn't make any sense. And it was like, I had to do like so much explaining. Now, I understand you're not like a 55-year-old trucker driving by seeing this sign. But the question is, do we not have something else better to put up? Like, what's going on in the pastor or the secretary or whoever's mind? And again, we have a church sign at the church I pastor. But I use it to put up scripture. This week, we're actually having uh, John Harris, Conversations That Matter. Hopefully, we'll stream that uh, on this channel and maybe on my um, church channel, too. We'll see. I don't know. Um, He's going to be guest preaching and then doing a presentation. So that should be a lot of fun. But I'm putting up the name of him, right? His name, this Sunday, and so on. And normally I put up, I've been preaching through Acts, book of Acts, Acts, verse by verse, chapter five, you know, and so on. Why not do that? Why, or why not just put up like, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God? Or, you know, God's grace is sufficient for you. Uh, you know, uh, for God to love the world. Like, I don't know. Like, why, why I, I don't understand like the dumb, cheesy sayings. And we all know them. I mean, drop a comment. Tell me, like, your favorite church sign. And if you want to look up Google and just drop one, that's fine, too. But, like, yeah, okay. But what's, what's, uh, I'll analyze them more when we get all to the end, okay? That's number one. God gives you peace when you go to pieces. This one's really bad. If your life stinks, we have a pew for you. If your life stinks, we have a pew for you. But why? Like, I I just, again, same questions apply. Why aren't we doing scripture? Um, This one recently had welcome stone family or something like that. Or just said stones. December or something. And I was like, I mean, who are those people? Like, it doesn't say anything about them. I guess it's just for them or church members. But, like, the best scenario is somebody sees this and they think, my life does stink. Yes, Oh, they reserved a pew for me. Okay, then I will go there. And then you show up, and they're going to be like, hey, what's up? And they're like, yeah, where's my pew? And they're like, what? Oh, the sign. Like, I just, I don't I don't get it. I, I just don't get it. Like, tell me what I'm missing, please. Again, I'm not trying to make fun of these people. I just don't, like, why are we doing it? Like, this is, again, I mean, even pushing against the the more rurally good old boy churches. There's nothing wrong with this. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. I'm not saying there's anything right with it. I just like, why do we do this though? Like, why not use this tool better? Right? I I just, it's weird. It's just weird. So if your life stinks, yes, we have a pew for you. But like, the best case scenario, somebody sees this, they come in and they're like, yeah, it does. It does stink. My life is in pieces. Oh. I'll tell you. I'll get, I got a bonus one at the end. I'll just drop it off. Uh, I don't have the picture, but I just remembered it. It was a friend who's lived in the area for a long time. It's a church nearby too. These are all real churches. But the worst case scenario is somebody looks in and is like, dumb, cheesy Christians. And all you're really doing is, and I hate the cheese. I hate the cheese. The campiness, the cheesiness. I hate it. All you're really doing is reducing Jesus down to a slogan, Right? The Bible down to just kind of, you know, this cool kitschy thing for little children and old ladies. I, I'm a man. I'm 50. I'm 40. I'm 25. I'm, you know, and I, I got work to do. Okay. Sure. God exists and he's probably a nice guy and everything, but I'm broken. I messed up. My wife left me. You know, my dog died, blah, blah, blah. Right. And how can God help me? How can Jesus really do anything for me? Jesus seems like this meek and mild guy and he's, you know, kind of a pansy really you know i mean how many guys are thinking that you know middle-aged you know 25 to 55 year old guys a lot and that's the demographic that is desperately lacking in churches and in society to stand up and say no we're not doing this with tranny nonsense no we're not teaching our children this no we're not doing those things no we're not going to fund this no we're not going to do this we're going to do this instead 
men with conviction. But men, when they don't have conviction, when they don't have Christ, they have very little conviction or their convictions are easily eroded away. And this doesn't help. These signs don't help, y'all. They just don't. At all. Okay? Not at all. I don't get it. I don't know why. I don't know why we have them, honestly. Again, I'm not saying they're sinning, but we can do so much better. Last one. This one's a, a Jewish one. Jewish. Temple. The temple. This is up in uh, Louisville, a little bit further away. Understand the facts. Get a beep. You can see it. I don't want to have the little, uh, I don't know. I don't know if YouTube watches my videos. I'm sure the algorithm. Understand the, uh, the facts. Get the facts. Now, talk about being political. This is not, as far as I know, a conservative temple uh, at all. I don't know really anything about it, but just based on the signs I've seen um, prior to this, they're not conservative. And so the leftists, right? I did a show on Wednesday, and uh, it was about woke preacher clips and this and this and this, and shock jockey clips, right? You can probably check that out if you haven't. Check it out up here. Um and one of those things, in especially, there's a channel called Woke Preacher Clips, if you don't know about it, it's pretty funny. Uh, it can get a little over the top, and it's a little, sometimes it's a little much, honestly. A lot of them, they're just shoving people and ridiculing people for not getting, you know, the thing. And wearing a mask, and this thing, and that thing. And it's like, what is wrong with you? Like, that has nothing to do with the God. Love your neighbor. No, you're missing the point entirely. <laughs> like, understand the facts, get the, right, or get a... Uh, I mean, do we know the facts? Because the facts are like heavily, heavily, heavily suppressed. People are injured and dead because of it. Like tens of thousands of people. Is that a fact? Oh, what, what Richard? What'd you say? Yeah, I know. If you don't know that, you're being fed lies. At least some lies. Um, yeah, no, it's not good. Not to mention the fact that it's not working because there's got double and triple people injected and their high sky high rates so it's not doing anything so i'm gonna understand the facts i'm gonna do the first part okay and it's, i'm gonna leave it up to you to do the second part first or second i'm not telling you to do it or not do it it's just even leftist temples and churches get political too the bonus for this episode is marriage, and I don't have it, it's just off the top of my head, it's something like this. Marriage is a threesome. <laughs> marriage is a threesome. God, man, and woman. No. No. And that's on the sign. That was on the sign. It's not there anymore. But one of my members of my church told me about it. Shout out to Seth. Hey, Seth. I bet he's watching. Why? Oh, that's so... It's just bad. It's just so bad. And all you're doing, again, you're making fun of the gospel. You're making fun of redemption. You're making fun and making light. And again, God invented humor. There's plenty of times to laugh. There's plenty of times to mock. There's plenty of times to... to uh, ridicule. I mean, again, think of Elijah, for example, mocking the prophets of Baal. He asked if Baal was in the bathroom for crying out loud. Is he in the is he in the John? That go back and look at that. If you don't believe me, go back and look at it. That's the context. That's what he's saying there. The and point then, is, we're making light of these things that we don't need to be making light of. You can laugh. Great, laughing's fun, wonderful, amazing, but we don't need to. We shouldn't in this context. It 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 lowers the bar. We need to raise the bar. Okay. Not lower and not bring it down to the lowest common denominator and, you know, make sure everybody feels happy or this or that, but rather raise the bar because the bar, if it's only at second grade in your church, especially pastors and preachers, I'm talking to you. If that's the case, you're not going to get anybody higher than you. Higher than that. If you're only second, third grade preaching and, and exposition and, and working through theology, doctrine, you're not going to get people higher than that. And guess what? You're not going to get mature Christians either. Now, there might be a handful that do their own thing because you're not feeding them. But if you bring it up higher, 6th grade, 8th grade, 12th grade reading level, as it were, theological doctrine, as it were, 
People will strive for that, right? You who have children, you know this full well. I know this full well. If you have your children, I mean, our oldest is 11. If I literally had her just be doing math, she doesn't like math at all, but she's great at reading and writing and other stuff. Really great. She was read way more books than I did from like zero to 20. Um, I got a lot of room to catch up or a lot of, a lot of books to catch up on. I'm trying, I'm trying, but got some books back here. See, she doesn't like math. And if I gave her two plus two is four, four plus four is eight, eight plus eight is 16. She would get bored, right? And it's like, why? I already did this. I already know this. I don't need this. She wouldn't do it or she would barely do it. And she'd be annoyed at doing it, right? It's first grade. It's kindergarten. Uh, raise the bar, men. Raise the bar. We need convictional people in our churches, in particular, convictional men and in the pulpit as elder pastors and doing the thing, leading the church, leading their families. That's what we need. That's revival. That's where revival will start. Not some in outcropping in Kentucky, random western part of the state. It might. But we always think like, oh, we need revival. How many times have you heard that? Ah, oh, we need revival. These church signs, <coughs> these church signs don't help that at all. Nobody's going to read that and think, yes, and just bust out into some John Wesley, George Whitfield sort of thing, fiery whatever, and be convictional and start living their life under the Lord. Yes, God can do whatever. God's sovereign. It means he can do whatever he wants. But, but, what are we doing in the meantime? What are we doing to facilitate or hinder that? That's the question. Hope you found this helpful. I really do. Uh, drop a comment. Let me know. Three-piece special. My buddy, Jason, uh, of Dear Woke Christian Channel. Three-piece special. Do the whole thing. The like, subscribe, and uh, comment. You get a bonus if you share it. I'll give you extra points. I don't have any points to give. I'm sorry. I can give you a thousand points. But where those points land, I don't know. It's kind of like Bitcoin. It's like nobody really understands it. But you know what? I'll give you a thousand points and your eternal rewards if you like, subscribe, comment, and share. I don't know. My cup is cut. Anyway, be contramundum pro mundo. We'll see you next time. New videos will be coming out on this episode, this show, on Wednesdays and Friday morning. Wednesdays and Friday morning. Till then.